So Clinton, we're here with this new Yamaha Tenere 700. This one in particular doesn't have crash bars, but the other unit over there, I noticed the crash bars and I started thinking, you know what? I like the idea of using the one with the crash bars. May that be my bike? <laughs> sure. We... Okay, so because I'm thinking at some point, I'm gonna fall over on that thing and uh, we're gonna have to pick it back up. And it's not always easy to do that with a motorcycle. It can be a good way to really hurt your back or pull a groin muscle or something. Yeah. So we teach how to pick up big, heavy adventure bikes. This isn't a really heavy one. It's only 450 pounds, yeah. wet. Yeah. But you could still do it wrong and either not be able to pick it up or really hurt yourself. Yeah, I worry about the back and as you get older too, you, you the knees. So what is the, I've seen people picking it up by the bar. I've seen people deadlifting motorcycles. In your opinion, what's the best way to pick up a motorcycle? It depends on the bike. This is what I would call almost a naked adventure bike. We've got no crash guards that make it wider, mm -hmm. no big saddlebags, Dave. So imagine a police cruiser falls over. The big bags in the crash guard means that it's only three quarters of the way down. This is going to be flat yeah. with the rear tire off the ground, right. lying prone. Sure. So the going backwards way works if the bike isn't flat on the ground. Okay. I can't, I don't know about you, I could never do the limbo as a kid. <laughs> How do you get any strength out of your legs and back when your butt's on the ground? Right. So we use the leverage of the handlebar. Right. We turn the bar full lock and we lift it with a bent knee, mm -hmm. not a bent back, and then oomph it up this way. Right. And it'll walk right up. Okay, it'll walk, they always say that in the parking lot <laughs> of Daytona, it'll walk right up. Yes. Uh, but the other thing is it'll walk right up specifically if the motorcycle is turned off. Yes. Right, you gotta make sure, a lot of people try to do this right away. They, oh, I and know. And the bike is still running, sometimes it's still in gear. You gotta make sure everything's shut down, right? Exactly, for safety. And then go around the bike and give it a once over before, don't just jump right back on and go either, right? Exactly, I've done it myself racing if i could call what i was doing racing had a bad crash you know i was in ninth place i wanted to hang on to that there's only 10 racers <laughs> i bent my rear brake and hadn't noticed it dave till i got to the next hard corner yeah and it was a more spectacular crash so yeah. i agree take a minute relax let adrenaline subside that might be masking an injury on you yeah then check your baby if there's any injuries on it levers uh, foot controls bent out of shape. Yeah. The steering is still straight. You're not going down the road sideways. Yeah. Yeah. So give it the uh, the T clock. Give it the once around and just make sure you're okay and make sure the bike's okay. Absolutely. Some great advice on how to pick up a motorcycle. Thank you, Clinton. My pleasure.